can it is a 10 marks question that is template inheritance so django template inheritance is a powerful feature that allows us to create a base template that defines a common structure for websites and then extend this base template in other templates to add or modify the content so here uh, it uh, uh, this it creates a base template and extend it in child templates this promotes uh, code reuse reduces duplication and makes the maintenance easier so that is the reason we say that it promotes reus reusability and maintainability in templates so here basic concepts of django template inheritance are base template so it is associated with one base template block tags and extending templates so a base template means a template that provides a common structure such as header, footer and main content area which other templates can inherit from. So that is nothing but the base template. So next is the block tags. These are special tags that define sections of the template that the child templates can override. So already we know that inheritance means the child class is going to inherit the features of the parent class. Here the same thing instead of class we have the template here. So extending templates means child templates that inherit from the base template and override or extends its block. Okay guys. So here based uh, now here we'll see one structure here by example. So whenever we are using inheritance we have to use the keyword with the block tags extend. Okay. So now this is an example program with the base class and the uh, base template and the child template. So here example. We have created one HTML file. The name we have taken is base.html and HTML language is English here. So we are using US language. So that's why you have to give here EN. If you are using French EN here, then you have to use here FR. So here we know that HTML is associated with head, title and body. So here in the title, we have given block title and end uh, block. And see that they are within these tags. So tags in Django, we write like this tag whatever the tag names and then we end these tags like this so this title has block title and end block within this then in the header we have given my helpful timestamp site okay and block content and this is the block content and end block so block footer we have given thanks for visiting my site and end this block footer so any block it is beginning and ending okay like the same way we have to follow block content you can give the name for this block and end that block similarly here also we have given uh, what is that we have given block title and you are ending the block title so this is the parent template what we have uh, created so this defines the basic structure and common elements like header footer and navigation etc to mark areas that can be overwritten so which areas we are going to overwrite that we can specify in the child uh, template so the child template name what we have taken here is the current date current date time current date time dot html so this is the child template so we have to use the extends tag here so uh, the syntax here is percentage extends base dot html base dot html is the here the parent template okay so here this is the parent template so child template uh, here it extends the base template using this and it overrides specific blocks that is the block content and the end block to add the custom content so the custom content here what we have here so for example here you see the block title here the custom the current time we have taken end this block so it overrides that uh, block title uh, block title what we have seen in the parent template and block content it is now current date we are going to display and end this block so like this how many blocks whatever you want you can go on adding in the uh, uh, child template you can add it into the child template so that uh, this child template uh, this uh, by using this template inheritance we can create a robust and maintainable template structure for your Django projects. So this will be overwritten here. So you are saying how your template should look like in the parent template so that it will be overridden whatever by the content what you are going to give in the child template.
and these are some of the uh, points you have to remember because it's a direct 10 marks question so if we use this extends in template it must be the first template tag in the template otherwise template inheritance will not work so that is what the first statement what we have used in this child template the first statement okay guys then generally the more block uh, block uh, tags uh, in your base templates the better so we can fill in reasonable defaults in a number of blocks and then define only the ones you need in the child templates you can add as many blocks what you want in the template so whichever has to be overridden you can include in the child templates if we find duplicating code in a number of templates it probably means we should move that code to a block that is in a parent template if we need to get the content of the block from the parent template then you should use block dot super variable uh, will do this okay this is useful if you want to add to the contents of the parent block instead of completely overriding it you can use the block dot super variable you may not define multiple block tags with the same name in the same template we should not define multiple block tags with the same name we should give different names for each of the block the template name you pass to extends is loaded using the same method that get template uses okay guys so in most cases the argument extends will be a string but it can also be a variable so this is a very important question so whenever it is asked for 10 marks you have to explain fully with an example code like this hope you understood if you feel this is really useful for you please comment like and share to your friends please don't forget to subscribe thank you all